What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about creatine and hair loss. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We do educational videos every week and we're gonna keep bringing that good content. This question comes from, quite frankly, whenever I do Instagram Q and A's, every single Q and A, I have people asking me, does creatine cause hair loss? Now this comes from a study back in 2009 where they supplemented young athletic males with creatine and found that it increased DHT. DHT can interact with the hair follicle and basically stop it from growing. People have said, well, see, Creatine increases DHT, therefore creatine causes hair loss. Not so fast. So first off, we have to understand quality of evidence. This study has never been replicated. There is literally not one other study demonstrating that creatine increases DHT. So that's the first thing. The second thing is this is just showing a mechanism. They did not actually compare whether or not creatine caused hair loss. They did not measure it hair loss or hair growth. So that was never assessed. And it's easy to say, well, it increased this thing, this thing increases that, and therefore hair loss. But that's not how whole body physiology works. There are a myriad of studies where you can increase hormones in the short term, whatever they may be, whether it's testosterone, estrogen, and various other hormones by a modest amount, but it doesn't actually result in clinically meaningful outcomes. For example, increasing testosterone by 10% has never been shown to increase muscle mass. Large increases in testosterone can, especially super physiological increases in testosterone, but small changes in testosterone do not appear to increase muscle mass. Same thing for things like thyroid hormone. A small increase in thyroid hormone is not going to likely produce clinically meaningful increases in energy expenditure. It's also important to understand how DHT is formed. DHT is formed from the conversion of testosterone to DHT by an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. In most studies examining creatine supplementation that also assess testosterone and free testosterone, the majority do not show changes in testosterone or free testosterone. I suppose it could be possible that creatine is somehow interacting with the 5-alpha reductase enzyme and therefore increasing the conversion of testosterone to DHT. But then we would almost expect to see a reduction in free testosterone if it is increasing that conversion. We'd actually have to be seeing creatine kind of increase free testosterone, but then be offset by an increased conversion to DHT. There are no studies showing that thus far. Once again, this study was done 13 years ago and has not been replicated since. So if you ask me, does creatine cause hair loss? Based on the preponderance of evidence, I would say there's no evidence that creatine causes hair loss. Maybe new evidence will emerge, but this one single study in isolation is not nearly sufficient to make that claim. Creatine has been shown to exert its ergogenic effects through increasing phosphocreatine levels in the muscle cells. It does not appear to modify hormones in any way. I would be shocked if creatine actually caused hair loss. I think it's much more likely that this one single isolated study was just wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe creatine does cause hair loss, but right now there's no evidence to show that. All right guys, if you like this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you next week.